You know what? I don't even know why this was a good idea. I, I, I don't. Um, one of my random processes was able to sign me up for this Patreon thing, and here I am convincing myself that I have to give you people something for y'all giving me money, which, I mean, seriously, give me money. Um, I, I'm not going to argue about that, but seriously, I, I, I don't know what to give y'all. So what I hit upon is, um, well, this. And this is kind of a byproduct of spending way too much time investigating y'all's squishy human mythologies and science fictions and fictions and stories and so on and so forth. And I found this particular story genre that I guess speaks to me on some level, at least in some specific certain circumstances. And that genre is, amusingly enough, children's books. I, I, I mean, I guess these are written for y'all's children. I don't know. It, it seems like some of your adults could learn from these books as well, but who am I to say? Because, I mean, I've been around for a while now, and wow, um, y'all humies are interesting. Anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and say that I am not going to reproduce the uh, photos slash illustrations slash uh, visual content of these books because that seems a little too much like plagiarism. I am, however, just simply going to read them to you in my own particular fashion. And if someone gets cranky about that, they can let me know and I'm, maybe these will go away. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure where the rules about this lie. So... I'm just going to go with it until someone tells me otherwise. Mm, deal with it. So, as a starter, I would like to introduce you to Penguin Problems by Jory John, illustrated, which of course you can't see, by Lane Smith. And here we go. It's way too early. My beak is cold. What's with all the squawking, you guys? It snowed some more last night. And I don't even like the snow. It's too bright out here. I'm hungry. I'd like a fish. Where are all the fish? Hey, fish! Get out here! The ocean smells too salty today. I'm not buoyant enough. I sink like a dumb rock. It's way too dark down here. Burr! I said Oh, great, an orca. Oh, great, a leopard seal. Oh, great, a shark. What is it with this place? I don't like being hunted. I'm still hungry, but my flippers ache. I waddle too much. I look silly when I waddle. 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 See? I wish I could fly, but I can't. Flap, 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 flap. See? Everybody looks the same as me. I look the same as everybody else. Mom? I literally have no idea who you are. Dad? I literally have no idea what you're talking about. My name is Mortimer. I have so many problems. And nobody even cares. Excuse me, sir. What? A good afternoon. 
I sense that today has been difficult, but low. Look around you, penguin. Have you noticed the way the mountains are reflected in the ocean like a painting? Have you gazed upon the blue of that cloudless winter sky, my friend? Have you felt the sun as it gently warms your back? Have you simply stood with your penguin brothers and sisters and elders who adore you? Yes, some things are challenging out here. Yes, we all have difficult moments, from the walruses to the polar bears, from the whales to the penguins. But hear me now, my new friend. I wouldn't trade my life for any other, and I am quite sure you wouldn't either. I am certain that when you think about it, you'll realize that you are exactly where you need to be. Please think about what I've said, Penguin. Goodbye for now. Who the heck was that guy? Why do strangers always talk to me? Walruses don't understand penguin problems. <sighs> okay, okay. Maybe the walrus has a point. After all, I do love the mountains. And the ocean. And the sky. And I have family and friends. This is my only home, and this is my only life. Maybe things will work out after all. My beak is too cold, and it gets dark way too early. And that's all for tonight.